Okay, we finally got a bit of nice weather. Sunny and almost no wind, so let's give this a try. This is not the Maiden. Uh, I did a Maiden yesterday, tried Horizon Mode and Angle Mode. They both work quite well, but the gains are a bit low. I forgot to set the gains, but I've changed my modes to do Angle Mode and Servo Auto Trim. Um, I think the cows are coming though, so I'm going to have to be real quick with this. Let's do it. Oh dear, that's not good. Okay, it's a little bit of moisture on the flight controller, which is not good, but I'm gonna give that another try. Oh, I was in, I was in uh, angle mode just then. That's why I couldn't turn it quick enough. I thought I was in pass-through mode. Okay, I'm in pass-through mode now. Now I'm in angle mode. It's flying nicely. So I'm just going to try the auto trim right here. Into the sun, into the house. Great. Oh. I'm not sure if that was long enough. Better try it again. Okay, angle mode. And servo pass through. Three. Four, five, I think. Yeah, I saw a little twitch there, so I think we might have trimmed it okay. I trimmed the board alignment the wrong way. I was going to set it three degrees higher, but I've got it three degrees lower, I think. But that's pretty smooth. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. This Tech Sumo is uh, redeeming itself. So now I'm going to have to land while keeping in servo pass, uh, servo auto trim mode, which I am. Yep, that's good. Let's try a glide here. Yep, no problems. So this should keep those trims pretty nice. Look at that. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I was going to try and catch it. Forgot. I think we're okay. All right, so um, after the cows go past, I'll come back out again and I will try... Uh, well, I might try even a return to home, I think. Well, I'm quite happy with the results of the auto trim. might be a little bit tricky to see on video, but the elevons are now pretty much perfectly equal when it's sort of in the neutral state. Uh, so I've changed a few things. I've put return to home on the bottom position of the switch. I have disabled the magnetometer in here because apparently you don't really need that at all. And if it's not quite calibrated correctly, which I, I don't think it was, it's better not to have it running apparently. Um, I've covered this up in a little bit more of a sensible fashion. And I've put a bit of um, cotton wool across the barometer. Um, what else have I done? Set up return to home mode on the flight controller. Uh, increase the cruise throttle to 1500, because I think it was a little bit low at the default of 1400. Um, and I reversed the three degree pitch uh, board alignment adjustment that I made, because I think I'd made it go three degrees down instead of three degrees up, which I wanted. Anyway, so launch should be a bit easier now, I think. Oh, and I also increased the pitch and roll gains from 2 to 5 on the p-value. That's better! Nice! Oh, that's pass through, but still, it was easy. Okay, angle mode. Oh, is it going down more than before? I think that's better. Oh, come on. Oh, man, yeah. Letting the stick go here. Oh, it's descending too fast. Wow, it's really coming down. Okay. So I don't think my return to home is going to work too well with this situation, but... Oops, wind's picked up. Uh, but let me just hit return to home about here and see what it does. So it's return to home. Oh, wow. That <laughs> looks good. <laughs> uh, this tree's going to be... 
I'm just going to take control of it there. I think it's a little bit too low for those trees. I set the height to 30 meters, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. Okay, now I'm up quite high. Hit return to home there. Turns to the left, hands off. It's uh, adjusting the throttle a little bit every now and then. It's very steady. A little bit of your waggle when it slows down. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Okay, let's try try landing. Ah, nice! You don't have to have you don't have to touch this to land. That's great. That means I can quite easily catch this by hand, and I don't have to slam this vulnerable <laughs> flight controller into the mud. Nice. Okay, one more try. Recharge the battery. And I noticed a set, little setting mistake that I'd made when I was twiddling with the numbers again. The return to home altitude I had set to 30 centimeters, not 30 meters, which uh, was probably being completely ignored, I guess. So anyway, it's 30 meters now, and I'm flying in FPV, so I won't have the problem of not knowing how far away from the trees I am. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's pass-through mode, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get up a bit higher and go into our nice stable angle mode. There we go. Oh, a little bit bumpy. Let's uh, come back this way. I'm still flying line of sight. I just wanted to see what happens when I hit return to home about there. Oh, throttle pumped up quite a bit. Okay, going to FPV. Oh, it's all... I can't see very well. There's all kind of lines in the screen. Um, completely hands-off at this point. Looks like we're just high enough to clear the trees. And, boy, this is a big circle. But, it's high enough. Doing a figure eight. I oh know it's a circle. I think it's a very elongated circle, though. And are we going to be okay here? Yep, just. <laughs> so I haven't touched the stick since I flipped into return to home mode. Um, unfortunately, can't see very well. Ah, oh, crap. Whoa! <laughs> I have no idea what happened there, but that was a lucky kind of landing. It just sort of lost power. It was going alright, from what I could see, which wasn't very much. Well, go and have a look, see if we can figure out what the problem was. Ooh! That was a bit more than I was expecting. Let's, uh... Holy crap! Let's go this way. Looks like this was not a very good place to crash. <laughs> but all things considered, didn't turn out too bad. I think. So what's the problem? Radio seems alright. Did you see that? Oh, I didn't... I don't think I tightened that up. Yeah, that would do it, wouldn't it? Lucky I didn't lose these uh, pieces, eh? That could have easily just fallen off, you know, a little bit over there. And also glad I put that on. I'm just going to go back to flying line of sight because the FPV camera wasn't quite working out and don't have much daylight, so I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, so 30 meters was, presuming it was actually working correctly, 30 meters was just enough to get over the top of those trees. So I set it to 45 meters, not 45 centimeters anymore. <laughs> Hands off, glide. Oh, hey. 
Oh, it's turning. Why is it turning? It's just going with the wind, is it? So that throttle is just on half throttle. I set the cruise throttle to 1450. So I'm going to hit return to home there, see what it does. Oh, look at it go up. It's going up. Turning to the right. Uh, lost a little bit of altitude, but then it caught it again. Yeah, it's adjusting the throttle occasionally. Right, so it doesn't look like it's 15 metres higher than it was before, but it's definitely higher. It looks like only about 7 or 8 metres higher than before. So I'm not, I'm not flying it myself here, of course. It's just going around and around. Looks like it works well. And that, that's upwind, so when it's over that side it's closer to me. When it goes over there, it's further away. Okay. <laughs> Don't like that very much. God, these trees are really annoying. Nice and smooth though. Okay, let me go, just go down there a bit. Quite a bit. Heading directly away from me here and return to home. Low down. Look at this. Ah, oh, is that good or what? Glide. Okay, all hands off. What's it doing? Turning to the right, okay. <laughs> Come back this way. It's pretty good. It's hands off. Oh! Ah. That was a bit silly of me. Oh, that'll do, I think. The uh, sun's just going to go down. So this is um, definitely something I'll be playing around with a bit more in the future. And most likely I'll end up with this on my mini talon at some point, rather than on this. This was just sort of as a test bed on something that I didn't mind breaking to uh, get it all figured out before I put it on something else. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.